Patients who are suspected of having cholera have been quarantined in Zimbabwe's capital, Harare. Health officials say this is an emergency. I realize that uh, the numbers are growing by the day, the number of cases. And to, to date, there are about 2,000, over 2,000 cases. The city of Harare has had a big problem. This whole problem has arisen as a result of blocked sewers. Zimbabwe's health sector, like other departments in the country, has been underfunded and poorly resourced for decades. Government officials blame the current economic crisis and say they lack resources. Opposition leaders say it's because of decades of corruption and mismanagement. Public hospitals sometimes run out of essential drugs. We have alerted our regional offices and headquarters because we know this is a very serious issue which we need going forward quite huge investments uh, to, to contain uh, the outbreak. So uh, we are working very hard to make sure that we mobilize the resources that we need from our side. Typhoid and cholera outbreaks occur regularly in Zimbabwe because of dilapidated water and sanitation facilities. Government officials say this latest outbreak started in Glenview, a poor neighborhood in Harare. It's believed some of those people who visited the area then traveled to other parts of the country. That's why the outbreak has spread to other provinces. Zimbabwe's biggest cholera outbreak was in 2008. More than 4,000 people died. Health officials and the international community accused the government of not responding to the emergency fast enough. Right now, Zimbabweans don't know how long it's going to take to contain this outbreak. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.